Hey, how, how's everybody doing? Well, this last July, I ended up running into a problem with one of my DWC tomatoes. I ended up getting a, a pinched airline, so I had no air going into my bucket. And that, plus uh, we had a really warm summer, and it pretty, uh, pretty much ended, ended into a uh, perfect storm type situation. Uh, I ended up getting a really bad case of Pythium root rot. So basically, the first signs I started, started seeing was uh, my uh, plant looks really healthy, but all of a sudden it just started wilting. And this came on really, really fast. Well, the first thing I ended up trying, I'm actually kind of embarrassed to even say, but I ended up putting a, a couple capfuls of uh, bleach into the water, trying to see if that would cure it. And uh, it did nothing. It did nothing but except uh, waste about a week of my time. So what I ended up doing was uh, I messaged uh, Brock Hughes and said, hey, uh, explain to him what I had going on. And uh, he ended up writing me back and gave me some good information. I've had uh, issues with pythium root rot before in the past, but nothing uh, to this extent. And what I've done in the past is basically just did a water change, just run uh, clean water, no nutrients for three or four days, and that seemed to do the trick. But uh, this, this case, it was really bad, so I ended up, uh, like I was saying earlier, I messaged Brock, explained to him what I had going on, and he goes, uh, and he busts out some H2O2. So I ended up running down to my local hydroponic store, picked up a gallon of food grade hydrogen peroxide. And I've used it before in the past, ended up killing one, uh, one of my plants a few years back, so I was a little nervous about trying it, but Brock, uh, Gave me pretty clear instructions, about three mils per gallon. Fill it all the way to the root ball submerged, is submerged, and uh, run that for about an hour or two. Then I dumped it out, and I filled it back up to normal um, normal level with no nutrients, just water and H2O2. And I ran that for about a week. Well, here's an important tip. Um, Brock said something about this in, in uh, his video, and, and the guy there at my local hydro hydroponics Hydroponic store, sorry about that. Uh, pretty much pr gave me a pretty clear warning. Uh, wear some type of gloves, some good uh, plastic or latex gloves when, when you're uh, dealing with this hydrogen peroxide. Uh, if, if you get this stuff on your skin when it's undiluted, it can uh, really cause some pretty nasty stuff to happen. So make sure you take the proper precautions. Well, Brock ended up telling me when I added my uh, H2O2 to the water. Go ahead and mix it up and let it sit for about 20 minutes before you add it, add it to your DWC. Well, this is about a week after I did the first dose, and I end up uh, a lot of the roots end up dying and falling off. You can see little pieces of, of roots there on the edge of the reservoir there. But the, um, the upper part of the plant, the green part of the plant, the vegetation part, I guess, what I'm trying to say, uh, bounced back really quick. So I was really happy with that. But within a few weeks, the roots uh, started growing, and they stayed white, and I was, uh, got really lucky there. Well, here's a clip from the end of summer, and boy, did she bounce back. I ended up getting a, a really good end of summer harvest, but uh, I really did end up missing, uh, missing out on a lot. Uh, I should have had a lot bigger harvest there at the beginning of the summer if it wasn't for my mishap, but... Uh, Live and learn, and it's definitely a, le a lesson learned. And here's a picture from today, and this is what my Roma looks like currently with uh, no tomatoes, but uh, that's a different story. All right, here's another clip from that I took today. So, gotta show off the roots, right? Everybody, everybody wants to see the roots. So, what, what I am doing for my weekly uh, reservoir maintenance was I Ended up fill, taking a one one gallon jug, I filled it with 10 mils of uh, H2O2, shook it up, and I spread it evenly throughout my four reservoirs. So once a week, I I add this stuff, and I mean, look at the roots, freaking awesome. And here's the Davidson. Here's another one that I grew in DWC. And light doesn't really do it justice, but the roots are pretty healthy. Um, here we go. That's a little bit better view, I guess. But overall, I was really happy with the H2O2. Well, if you're going to grow in DWC, I'd highly recommend uh, getting a gallon of this stuff. Uh, you'll thank yourself later, especially if you have issues with uh, warm water temperatures in your reservoir and stuff like that. 
and for now on, uh, once a week, I will be adding these, adding this to all my reservoirs, and uh, it sure makes life a lot simple. We end up having, like I was saying, a really hot summer, and uh, if it wasn't for this H2O2, I would definitely would have lost that one plant, and uh, probably would have been struggling with my other three plants. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, and uh, as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and comment, and have a good one.